Hi, this is a personal message from Mr. Fox. And we are in a time where we're quarantined and we are unable to come to a school that primarily has relied on being there in person. Waldorf schools have been around for over a hundred years. And uh, in that time period, I think this is the very first time that we all have to stay home. So I appreciate you all bearing with us as we all navigate this uh, difficult new time period, however uh, temporary it may last. And I want you to know that I'm there to support you, uh, or I guess technically I am here digitally to support you. Uh, you can call me, text me, email me, let me know how much you need or don't need. I know you all have different living and working arrangements, so some of you might need to print out some worksheets and have a little bit more hands-off time as you continue to work from home and try to make sure that your kids are learning things. And some of you might want something more like what we're doing in class um, and have access to some of those materials. So I want to be able to support all of the different family types and styles of learning that are going to be created from this time period. So again, let me know how I can be most helpful and what I will continue to do is just make materials and um, uh, things that you can do. Uh, you shouldn't need too much stuff, a little bit of a uh, blank white paper, computer paper, if you don't have the journals or the materials and supplies that are like the official things, it's not that big of a deal. But just make sure your kid has something to write with, something to write on. And uh, it's up to you whether or not you want them to watch certain videos of me telling a story so that they can connect with their teacher or whether or not you want them to maybe listen to those stories. Uh, or I'll even try to just make those stories available so that you can either read those stories or have your child read those stories. It, again, depends on what your child is comfortable with and what you, are, as a parent, as a family, are comfortable with. Um, so as much as I can, I want to be there to support you guys. Do let me know what's needed and what's necessary, and I will continue making content that you can view online. If you need help accessing the Google Classroom or uh, any of the files that we have, uh, please let me know and I will show you how to do that. For some of us, we are used to navigating this online environment and for some of us, this is brand new. So um, let me know, please, and I will try to help out as best as I can. Waldorf is a very rhythmic education. That being said, we are in a new time period where that same rhythm will not be possible, that they can't transfer easily from teacher to teacher. Um, and so we will just have to make do with what we can do. So what I want to offer you is just a snippet of what we do every day. We start with a two hour main lesson and I recommend that for, for your own child at home, this main lesson may only take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe the full two hours. So I'll make sure that you have enough information that you could have your child do a two hour main lesson. And the way that they will be able to do it best because they're still young, they're still new to this and they're brand new to doing this uh, at home. So I really recommend a checklist. And so I'll send out a template checklist for uh, you, if you're monitoring, or your child, if they are self-monitoring, to be able to go through the checklist. I did this. Now I do this. Now I do this. Now I do this. So as a note for the main lesson stories, we tend to work in this uh, breathe in, breathe out pacing. And in the Waldorf philosophy, kids really get it. They really get the information in their sleep. And so what we do is we tell a story and then we just let it sit with them. They kind of make it their own story, interpret it how they want, go home, sleep on it, dream about it. And then they come back and we do a review. And after we do that review, things shift for them. And so they then do a write up about it and a drawing about it. Now, if you want to continue this self-paced education at home, uh, including all that main lesson, 
stuff, then um, I will give you the resources to do that, the stories. Um, uh, we might not be able to do the review together, but you can ask your child to by themselves or you, with you do that review come up with the major important elements. And what this is really important in doing is um, those summary building skills. When we were doing book reports, some of the students had <clears throat> some difficulty with creating a summary. Like, what is a summary? And, you know, summary is just exposing those main ideas and details. And ultimately, it's reading and listening for a comprehension of the story. That's what we're going for. And so you know, making sure that they get what they're given, that they really get it, and that from there we can come up with our own creative thoughts about it. Um, so that aside, I want to make sure that your kids are reading books or whatever it is that they're reading, that they are practicing their spelling and increasing their vocabulary and that they are consistently doing math. Now, as far as math is concerned, for the most part, uh, we have uh, actually hit and mastered all of the grade four learning goals. And in grade five, uh, we were going over some, some new material, but it was the last thing that we were going to teach in the block. Um, it's not super difficult, and it was actually kind of based on the material that we were going over earlier. We were doing uh, lines, line segments, angles, and degrees, um, which is definitely not required for fourth grade. That's advanced level math, even though some of the fourth graders were into it and they wanted to try that challenge and do it. And in fifth grade, um, it's actually fairly simple once you've mastered those basics. So I would say if your kid really wants to go on and uh, learn some new math stuff, I'll show you some strategies for how they're able to do that. And if uh, the next time period while we are quarantined is um, your child really reviewing and mastering the concepts we've gone over for the year, then great. Um, as I said in our parent-teacher conferences uh, and in that, in that last uh, big group meeting that we had, um, you know, we've really excelled as far as pushing forward with our academic goals this year. I'm really proud of all of uh, the students, and we're doing great. Um, so... Um, you could either view this as a setback or you could view this as an opportunity for them to really bond with you, uh, spend some more time at home, and really ingrain those concepts that we've already gone over in class. So um, I do tend to lean towards the optimistic side, and I'm really excited to spend some more time with my daughter. Now, while you're welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I think that it might not make sense out of context when I put up a new video. Um, I will link all the videos in the Google Classroom, so I think it's most important that you become a part of the Google Classroom. <clears throat> Again, if you have any struggles or issues with it, please let me know and I'm happy to help out. And I will make sense of what that new video material is because it'll be a link to an assignment. So you'll have that context available to you. Um, additionally, I'll try to organize the YouTube channel to make sure that the stories are in one place, uh, songs that we're singing or recorder songs are in another place, um, and I will also upload some um, worksheets and materials that your kids can work on. Because this is a brand new experience for all of us here at the Waldorf schooling system, there may be some non-traditional ways in which we are learning. And so, as I put in the comments on the Google Classroom, I highly recommend a couple of workbooks to help keep your kids uh, on task and doing stuff. Those Spectrum math books are pretty straightforward. It's just math, 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 math starting at their grade level and maybe getting one either behind or before. Um, if your child is in fourth grade, you could get them a grade three and a grade four so that they could review grade three and show their, their mastery and um, really have some self-confidence building in what they're able to do there. Um, but 
uh, that might be too basic for some of the students. So again, please ask if you're unsure of your child's abilities in math if we haven't gone over it at our parent-teacher conference. Um, in addition, there are a lot of really good workbooks out there in all kinds of areas as far as reading and reading comprehension, spelling and vocabulary. So I'm not opposed to doing some things non-traditionally. For instance, the Khan Academy is a free resource that's filled with information. It really specializes in math, but there is a whole section in English as far as vocabulary and usage. Nothing creative over there, but the technical stuff is really good to know. And it's really good refresher stuff for what we have been doing all year long, which is trying to combine the creative aspect of writing and creativity with, you know, really getting uh, proper usage of sentence structure and getting the spelling and the grammar all lined up, which is very age appropriate to not have everything down perfectly by this age. Um, so if you are a family that is going to be using a little bit of media and screen time anyway, I recommend that that be really useful screen time rather than having them sit down and watch some Netflix or Disney Plus. Um, Khan Academy is a little bit of a gamified education system and it's imperfect in ways, but it's also really wonderful and lovely uh, in many other ways. It has a lot of really good lessons. There are video tutorials um, that you can watch and then there's a little bit of act interactive quizzes and things that you can do that help you to make sense of the math or um, if you're over in the grammar section, the grammar, um, there's all kinds of other things there. Um, it is very intellect heavy and in Waldorf education we try to work with the head, the heart, and the hands which means that we try to develop the whole human being. We try to develop not only the child's intellect which is in many other schooling systems, they just develop that intellect and you kind of end up with uh, smart, smart people who are not so compassionate, maybe don't work so well with others, um, don't have that create, those creative thinking skills. Um, you know, when you only develop the intellect and the, the actual doing, the hands, um, the stick to itness that's really missing from just a, a generation or two of kids, um, or if the heart component is missing, the understanding um, of cultural context, um, then it's a it's a crippling it's a crippling disability to not be able to combine those three elements. Now, Khan Academy is very much uh, centered on the intellect, uh, but for now, it is actually pretty hard for us to be able to teach the will this this hands uh, this doing of things and uh, to teach the heart so um, our special subjects teachers that we have will also send home some activities uh, Ms. Doolin will try to uh, make sure that you have some handwork projects available to you um, I will try to make sure that you have things that you can do Ms. Mason will try to send you some activities and games that you can play um, and uh, I believe uh, Ms. Amy will be sending home some form drawing uh, and uh, the languages teachers, uh, Senora Cardoso will be sending some Spanish, Frau Kachuver will be sending some German. So we will have a lot of different materials that we will try to engage in. I'm going to stop talking because this is becoming a very long video, but I hope that you will contact me if you have any questions. And if you have ideas for content, please let me know so that I can pass those on to the other families. And even though we're virtual, we can still be a community. I really appreciate you sticking with us during this very difficult time for everyone. Um, and, you know, we can also kind of smile and be grateful um, for the fact that most of us are safe and sheltered indoors with enough food and with uh, people that we love and not everybody has having that experience right now so uh, be useful where you can and I look forward to hearing from all of you. Bye.